I want to demonstrate running a 4041 program, that's the box on the right, is a GPIB controller on the 4052 where the 4052 is in terminal mode. The program is actually being loaded into disk or it, it loaded from tape into the 4041. So let's see what we've got. If I start on the 4052, I want to type call termin, which is the terminal emulator program. And so at this point, I've set it up for the speed on RS-232 to talk over a cable to the 4041. If I hit enter, I get a prompt, the asterisk from the 4041, and I can do a command in terminal mode like list the program. So if I say list line 100 to 200, then the 4041 was sending these program lines to here. And what we see is, it says artillery by MCM, that's me. I did this program first on a 4041 computer, which was the predecessor to this 4052. And I ported that program to BASIC, it's in BASIC, and I ported it to BASIC on the 4041 yesterday. So this video will show us running the program where the 4041 is sending the graphics commands and uh, printing the text to the screen in terminal mode and we're typing on the 4052 to enter the data. So let's watch how we play artillery. Run the program. And so the line that we're seeing is the terrain. There's a left player and a right player. It is a two-player game. I'm going to play both sides. Right now, the computer is calculated wins going to the left at 28 miles per hour. I don't know if we can read this yet. And I'm going to put in what angle to fire my cannon and how much powder or power that I want behind the shot. So I'm going to estimate with the headwind that an angle of 60 degrees is fine, but the shot is going to get pushed back. And the level, the elevation of the target is higher. So I'm going to guess that a shot with an angle of 60 and strength of nine is going to hit the target, which is the rectangle over here. So we see the shot start. Calculations are going on the 4050, 4041, and basically we fell short of the target. And so now the turn is moved to the right side. And I'm going to estimate, since I have a tailwind, that if I use an angle of 60, that I don't need nine as the power. I'm going down lower to this one, so I'm gonna put in eight as an estimate. And I have overshot the mark by far. It's like, this is not a good shot. I can't really tell what to do on the next shot. For the left side, what I'm going to try is more power. So instead of a 9, 10 may also fall short. And so let's see. Calculations going. You see the blinking light? We're halfway there with a power of 10. I'm going to try 11 next time, but it's this guy's shot. There's two things that you can do in this game. One is change the angle of your shot, and the other one is change the power, the amount of powder behind the shot. And so I think 60 degrees is too low an angle. I'm gonna try to change the angle to 70. And 
if I use the power that I had before, which is eight, I think it's still too much. I'm gonna use 70 and seven, but I've changed two variables, which means I really don't know where the shot's going. But I was right in reducing the strength of the power behind that shot is it would have been between these two lines if I would have left the power at eight. What are we gonna do on the left side? So we like our angle and it sure looks like a power of 11 is going to get us really close. So we can put in fractions, but for right now, let's bound the problem with integer numbers. And 11, ooh, so close. Now we're, but in this particular version of the program, you have to hit right on target, right inside that diamond. So on the right side, I'm going to stay with the 70. And if I put in an angle of six, so decrease by one, now what happens? So, ah, at least we're on the screen, but it's a long shot. We try 60, and now I'm into fractions. If 10 got us here, and, a, and 11 got us there, I'm thinking 10.8. What do you think? And we won. And so the computer asks, the program asks, if we want another game, we can type no and it will stop. In this case, if I just hit enter, it clears the screen and starts a new game with different wind, different terrain. So now we have a pretty big hill in between the two sides, but I think I'll stop the video now.